She's a three-time Olympic gold medalist, a league MVP for the WNBA, and the leader of the Indiana Fever, and an advocate for children with her Catch the Stars Foundation. They rallied behind uh, my good friend, uh, who I've had the pleasure of being on the court, and, and she took it easy on me, uh, Tamika Catchings, MVP, uh, who can now add a WNBA championship to a NCAA championship. Today, Tamika Catchings on Living by Design. Have you ever had a goal that seemed so far away and so difficult that it literally felt like you were trying to reach up and catch a star? Well, our guest today knows an awful lot about that. She's an academic all-star, WNBA veteran, high school and collegiate champion, and a two-time gold medalist winner. And she's even met the president, Mr. Barack Obama. The only thing larger than this young lady's accomplishments is her heart. Tamika Catchings, thank you so much and welcome to the Living by Design show. Thank you, thanks for having me. I am so happy to have you. <laughs> you are an amazing young lady and I think you know that. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. You're gonna help so many people. You've already helped so many people. And I know my viewers are gonna be so happy to hear from you because you just, you have a heart of gold. You know, I've read a lot about things that you've accomplished, and I just want to start the interview by just going all the way back to your childhood. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we all have a childhood. Our Lord knows mine was <laughs> wild and crazy. But let's just talk a little bit about your childhood, because that's what shaped you and made you into the wonderful young lady that you are today. So. Talk a little bit about, you know, your, your insecurities and, and the, ten, the things that you had to overcome, the obstacles. Well, I think, I've, uh, first off, I've been very blessed to have a, an amazing family and an amazing supporting cast around me. Um, I was born with a hearing problem, a speech problem, have, had to wear, still wear hearing aid, glasses, contacts now, obviously, and uh, just the whole nine yards um, being different. And I know for me, just growing up, it was really tough because the only thing that I really wanted to do was just fit in and be normal and be like everybody else. And ha every day, having to get made fun of whether the way I talk, the way I look with my hearing aid, um, my braces at one point, you know, glasses. So going to speech class, I mean, I had a lot of things that, you know how it is when you're a kid, you just, yes. they, you just get made fun of for being different. And I really struggled early on. And that's how sport became so important to me. Cause it was one of those things, soccer was my first sport, then I started playing softball, and my father played in the NBA, so we were always around basketball, uh -huh. but it was never something that we did as far as playing on a team yes. until after uh, soccer, softball, and then I started playing basketball when I was in third grade, organized basketball. Oh my yeah, Third grade? Yeah, that's when I, like, Whoa. I mean, we played on the playground and goofed around. I have an older brother and an older sister, and um, so the three of us, from my mom and dad, and then we actually have an older sister older stepsister and a younger brother now. Um, but yeah, so wanting to fit in, that was like the reason why I got pushed into sports. And every day that I got made fun of, and the more I practiced, that was like my thing. Like, you make fun of me for the way I talk or the way I look, let's go play basketball, let's go play tennis, or let's go do something that, you know, a sport that I could practice and get better at. And you know, that is so critical. And I'm so glad you said, I just wanted to fit in. Mm -hmm because I'm very spiritual and I know you are very spiritual as well. And God doesn't want us to fit in. God made us to stand out. Yeah. You know, because we're all made individually. We all have our unique gifts and talents. And you know as well as I do that our pain and our journey and all the things that we accomplish and experience in life, it's setting us up to help someone else. Absolutely. And just like you said, Every time you felt bad and every time you got made fun of, that just pushed you even more and it just pushed you and pushed you and pushed you. And, and I just, I applaud you for that. Now, I, heard, I read that your father was in the NBA. Yes. And who did he play for? He played for the Milwaukee Bucks, New Jersey Nets, Philadelphia 76ers, and the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh my goodness. He played for 11 years, so wow. yeah. Okay, now does either one of your siblings play sports or? All of us play. Mm -hmm. um, my brother actually played until his senior year in high school. He has Crohn's disease, so he found okay. that out after his junior year. Okay. Um, but he was really good, a uh, really good basketball player. And then my sister actually, we're 21 months apart, she's older. And uh, 
After she graduated from the University of Illinois, she got picked up by Phoenix Mercury, went out there, tried out, didn't make it, then uh, got picked up back then. The Miami Soul was still around, so she got picked up there, didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But her passion wasn't really basketball. Okay. She was just really good at it, and so it was like, you know, I'll give it a shot, and if not, then, you know, figure out what I'm going to do next. Now, I know that you been to college, graduated, so proud of you for that. I'm a big advocate for education, sure. so congratulations. Yeah. Was that your plan B? Was that your backup plan? If you had made it in the NBA, what would you have wanted to do with your Well, I, um, I was in seventh grade when I made my first goal that I wanted to be a professional basketball player. Mm -hmm. And back then, the, w, the WNBA wasn't around, so I wanted right. to play in the NBA. Really? Yeah, I wanted to follow my dad's footsteps and Aww. go that route. But then the WNBA came around my freshman year in college, so after the 96 Olympics, WNBA starts, and it's just kind of like, wow, like this is an amazing opportunity. I hope that four years go by. You know, my career at University of Tennessee propelled me to be able to make it to the WNBA. And, uh, but even throughout that, I've always loved sport and I've always loved working with kids. So my thing was, uh, you know, I went, I got uh, my undergrad sport management with a minor in business and went back and got my master's in sports studies because I want to be a general manager for a WNBA or NBA team one day. That is absolutely amazing. I know you are such a major role model for so many young girls. And, you know, I, I read that you went to the University of Tennessee and played with the legendary Pat Summit. Oh, my goodness. That is huge. <laughs> that is absolutely huge. I want to get a little bit more into that and talk about your college career, your college life. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back with more of Miss Tamika K. kids, we were told we could be anything we wanted to be when we grew up. But as we got older, we hit roadblocks. Things that once seemed fun started to seem impossible. But somewhere along the way, if we were lucky enough, we found someone who believed in us, who challenged us, who pushed us farther than we ever thought possible. And eventually, we start to believe that we can be anything we want to be when we grow up. Learning RX Brain Training is clinically proven to dramatically improve the way your brain works. We team you one-on-one -on -one with a personal brain trainer for intense mental exercises, raising IQ an average of 15 points and improving mental performance in every area of life. Learning RX, serious brain training for serious results. Are you sick and tired of feeling sick and tired? Do you feel that life is passing you by, yet you have nothing to show for your efforts? Are your employees miserable with low morale and high stress? Hello, I'm Kathy Holloway Hill, founder and CEO of C. Holloway Hill Enterprises. And if you answered yes to those questions, then our quality workshops, seminars, keynote presentations, and one-on-one -on -one life coaching will provide you the tools and methods you need to elevate to a higher level of awareness. Life is not a destination, it's a journey, and you keep going and growing. So if you're ready to grow with us and experience results-oriented services, then contact C. Holloway Hill Enterprises today at 812-418-3391.
Welcome back, and we are here with the amazing Miss Tamika Catchings. And Tamika, you have so much going on, I can't even keep <laughs> up. You are a three-time Olympic medalist. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely amazing. And you're getting ready to go for your fourth? Uh, hopefully, Lord willing, my body holds up. It's wow. not till 2016, so we have a few years to get there. Wow, you are just doing so many wonderful things. I wanna spend a minute and talk about your college career because you had the superb opportunity to work with the legendary Miss Pat Summit. Mm -hmm. So how was that? It was a great experience, you know. Um, I think now even looking back and just all the things that she taught me, and you know how it is, like when you're around great people and you're around just people that live, live what they say. Right. You know, she's never been a person to tell you to do something that, that she's not willing to do herself. Right. And I mean, I think I learned so much more just watching and being observant, which I've always been anyway. Right. But um, I remember even my first year, my freshman year going to University of Tennessee, and she was the one that really got me back into wearing my hearing aid. Good. Um, yeah, her and, and our, our trainer, athletic trainer back then, Joni, uh, Jenny Moshat. Mm -hmm. So they got me back into wearing my hearing aid, and the whole story came out about Why did you, know, you stop? Just when I was in uh, the I mean, you can't grade. see it, or, or could you see it? Like, yeah, you could. In some of my pictures, like you there can see, like I had the big one behind the ears, yeah. you know, before. Now the technology is great. They exactly. do. They go straight in the ear. Yes. You don't have to worry about it. Yes. But, um, yeah, they were the ones that got me back into wearing it in, in the mm. story. But uh, I remember being in a locker room, and Pat was just saying, like, you are going to accomplish so much, and you're going to be, be able to impact so many lives this is just the best thing for you to do, get back in to right. your hearing aid. So I did that and I actually went to speech therapy for a little bit my freshman year as well. But um, it's crazy thinking about then and just like fast forward into where I am today and, and it is. I mean, right. the impact that I've been able to make and you know, just being a role model and all the things that I've gone through, not just my hearing problem, but you know, contact, the self-confidence, you know, um, just all the issues that boys and girls both deal with. Yes, and, and you know, that's one thing that we're all about here on the Living by Design show, and I wanna ask your thoughts and opinion because I'm doing a segment on my radio show, and I also want to ask you your thoughts. I don't know what's going on with, in our nation with our women, the, the female gender. Yeah. We compete, we gossip, we're envious of each other, and I really want us to try to start thinking about celebrating our commonalities instead of our differences. And what advice could you give for the ladies out there who are listening? There's enough success to go around for everyone. We don't need to be betraying each other and being envious of each other and backstabbing each other and talking and gossiping behind each other's backs. How can you speak to that? You know, it's tough. I mean, in the generation that we live in, it's just, it's tough. I know, um, I mean, of course, the fitting in aspect of it and always, you know, and then, yes. then you have the people that want to stand out and not necessarily in the positive ways, but more just you know, stepping on people to get to the next level. Mm. But I think, um, you know, one of the things that I've learned and one of the things that I've always been about is just being genuine and being true to myself. Right. And, you know, because of who I am, because of the platform that I have with being a professional basketball player, I get looked at a lot. And, you know, my sister, she kind of, you know, self-confident about that, or not self-confident, she's conscious of that. Okay. You know, so self-conscious about it. So sometimes when we're together, she's like, hi, people are always staring at us. And, da, da, da. and I'm like, you know, it's not that I don't see people looking at me. It's just, I think I'm just so approachable too, and I'm friendly, and I'm always smiling, and there's not really much that gets me down. Um, you know, whether people are talking about me or looking at me or, you know, I just, I go about my business and I'm very um, focused on my goals and focused on what I'm, what I'm trying to do. But that's, I'm, that's big. Yeah, but along the way, you know, I'm all about helping the younger generation and the people alongside of me get to where they want to be as well. You right. know, so not just, 
I'm going to do all this and I'm only doing it for myself and when I'm done, nobody will have learned anything from me. Like, I want people to watch me and I want people to learn from me. And I want people to say one day when they're in an interview, like I used to watch Tamika, you know, Tamika Catchings and the way she carried herself and the way she handled different issues and different things that went on, which is what I learned from Pat and even Shamika Holesclaw, you know, watching her deal and handle situation back when we were playing in college. I remember like people hanging on her jersey and following her intentionally and you know she never really lost her cool and I was very hot-headed you know mm -hmm. um, growing up just yeah. very feisty I mean I, I was so, always so passionate about what I did on the court but I think now like my passion on the court and my passion off the court is just always you know trying to help those around me in both situations get better and be better. And I, I love that. I absolutely love that because I can relate to the growing up piece mm -hmm. of it. I was so paranoid. I didn't like being tall. I was paranoid. I didn't play sports and I didn't like being tall. I didn't want to play sports or anything. And whenever someone would stare at me, I would get angry. Yeah. <laughs> I would really get angry. What are you looking at? Yeah. So do I look like a freak or a weirdo? Oh, well, I yeah. mean, I was teased in school, you know, and at home yeah. both. So. Yeah, so I can learn from you as well that, you know, I've overcome some of that, but you know, still sometimes when people stare at me, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't wear such large heels because I'm very tall too. Oh, right, and, yeah. mm -hmm. But you know, I think now like I, I, I wear heels and my ex-boyfriend, he was, you know, seven feet. So I was able to do that. I'm six two and I was able to do that, you right. know, but um, I think in my situation now I just, being comfortable, you know, right. like with who I am. That's and right. Be comfortable wear, in your own skin. I <laughs> can't walk in three inch, four inch heels anyway. That hurts. That's funny. <laughs> but, you know, you see a lot of shorter women that are able to do that. More power to you, you know. How <laughs> in the world do they walk in those big no six idea. inch heels? I mean, I see these shoes that are, I can't even, they look six, seven inches. Yeah. I'm like, are you serious? I, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, amazing. It is that's amazing. That's a talent. That's a talent. It is a talent. Yeah, that in <laughs> itself is a talent. But, you know, maybe that's why God blessed us with height. So we wouldn't he, have to do that. Right, yeah. exactly. Thank you. I know, I know right? Thank that's you. That's right. Yeah, I'm so happy about that, too. We have so much more that we want to talk about because I really want to talk about your foundation and all the wonderful things that you're doing there. And we're going to be right back with more of Living by Design. Stay tuned. kids, we were told we could be anything we wanted to be when we grew up. But as we got older, we hit roadblocks. Things that once seemed fun started to seem impossible. But somewhere along the way, if we were lucky enough, we found someone who believed in us, who challenged us, who pushed us farther than we ever thought possible. And eventually, we start to believe that we can be anything we want to be when we grow up. Learning RX Brain Training is clinically proven to dramatically improve the way your brain works. We team you one-on-one -on -one with a personal brain trainer for intense mental exercises, raising IQ an average of 15 points and improving mental performance in every area of life. Learning RX, serious brain training for serious results. Are you sick and tired of feeling sick and tired? Do you feel that life is passing you by, yet you have nothing to show for your efforts? Are your employees miserable with low morale and high stress? Hello, I'm Kathy Holloway Hill, founder and CEO of C. Holloway Hill Enterprises. And if you answered yes to those questions, then our quality workshops, seminars, keynote presentations, and one-on-one -on -one life coaching will provide you the tools and methods you need to elevate to a higher level of awareness. Life is not a destination, it's a journey. 
and you keep going and growing. So if you're ready to grow with us and experience results-oriented services, then contact C. Holloway Hill Enterprises today at 812-418-3391. Next time on Living by Design. Did you know that you were born to be brilliant? Well, my guest today knows all about that because he actually wrote the book on it. Mr. Simon T. Bailey says that if you learn how to release your brilliance and then harness your brilliance, you'll be able to get out of that old rut that you're currently living in. So, Release Your Brilliance, I wrote it from a very deep place. Uh, Release Your Brilliance is really understanding that all of us have potential, we have insight, we have genius in us. Everything you need to succeed in any economy is inside of you. So there are three questions that I really want everyone listening to us to answer. Mm -hmm. Question number one is what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? Question number two, what would I do if no one paid me to do it? And question number three. Don't miss Living by Design, Sundays at 6 p.m. on WHMB TV 40. Welcome back to Living by Design. I'm Kathy Holloway Hill, and we are here with the amazing Miss Tamika Catchings. And Tamika, I am just having such a great time talking <laughs> to too. you. And I want to talk about your foundation, Catch the Stars. Yep. And that's a wonderful name. <laughs> Goes off my name, my last name. Yes, it's a perfect name, right? Because that's what you are as a star, and you catch your goals, <laughs> and you catch your dreams, and you go after it. I like it. it, I like it. I love it, yeah. I love it. So talk to us about your foundation. What do you stand for? How are you helping our, our youth in the community? Yeah, we, uh, we're focused on boys and girls, ages 7 all the way up to 16. And uh, we really focus on goal setting with uh, fitness, literacy, and mentoring, which the three of those buckets by themselves are huge. But, you know, for me, I mean, of course, fitness is an automatic fit with just basketball and doing a basketball camp and fitness clinics and, you know, different things like that. But I also wanted to have an academic spin to it. So we got into the literacy piece, which we uh, have one reading corner right now at Crystal House Academy. We had another one over at Brookside, but um, they did some remodeling and pushed us out a little bit. But So we're looking at doing more of those. Uh, we do our scholar athlete dinner once a year where we give out two $2,500 renewable scholarships, mm -hmm. which ends up being $10,000 uh, for a boy and for a girl. Yes. Um, back to school celebration, then we have a mentoring program, Court Stars and Court Champs. We do twice a year for six weeks each where uh, for boys and girls 12 to 16. Mm -hmm. And that's really the one that we talk about, you know, self-confidence, self-esteem. Goal um, setting? Goal setting. Goal setting is everything. Excellent. And I think it's really important, especially Jeez. for me. Like I said, when I was in seventh grade, that was when I made my first goal. And so that's always been, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that girl that you kind of like look at that every single thing that I've done has been written down years before as far as what I wanted to do, what I wanted to accomplish, and, uh, you know, and, and checking them off and, and keep making, adding more goals to that list. Yes. You know, the name of our show is Living by Design. Yes. And I always say, if you don't design your life, someone else is going to hire you to design theirs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you've got to set goals for your own life because you've got to design your life. You don't want to wake up one day and say, how did I get here? I'm miserable. Oh, what am I going to do with my life? Exactly. Yeah. Now what? So what is the criteria to get into your foundation? Is there some specific criteria? Do you just have to apply or is there an online application process? Yeah, everything is open. I mean, we, like I said, different Just, just as long as you are, don't, and, <laughs> well, and, and you got room, you have mm -hmm. space. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, our next thing coming up is our Court Stars and Court Champs program, which we'll be doing one at Crystal House Academy and one over at the Chase Legacy Center. And then we have our Scholar Athlete Reception. Um, but everything is on our website. It's catchthestars.org. Okay. We do a lot of stuff, you know, through our, um, through our foundation website. But, I mean, we, we're always looking for volunteers. Um, one of the things, obviously, is my thing is I want everybody in the state of Indiana to be connected or to know about Catch the Stars through one of three ways. Either you're giving monetary, you're volunteering, or your children are involved. Mm. You know, so I think like between those three, I want the whole state, not just Indianapolis, but I want everybody to have you know, some kind of contact to what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish. 
And we're going to make sure that happens because every single person that is looking at this show, as well as our YouTube channel, we want you to go to our YouTube channel because all of our episodes are on YouTube and we're getting tens of thousands of hits. So, you know, we want to make sure that everyone, even outside the state of Indiana, yeah. has an opportunity to, to hear these things and to change their lives and to want to transition just because you have had pain and difficulty and obstacles in your life, it should not stop you. No. I mean, you are a perfect example of that. You, you've just done so much. Now, now, what really inspired you to start your foundation? What, what, what got that? Well, the thing is, uh, this is kind of a funny story. So my sister and I moved here when I got drafted. Uh -huh. I tore my ACL my senior year in college. So oh. literally she stopped, she was playing overseas in Sweden she flew back home, so she quit, <laughs> not quit, but she was like, I gotta go home, I gotta go help my sister. So she moved to Tennessee with me and helped me with my rehab, like the second half of uh, school year. I graduated early, so, but I started my master's program, you know, that next semester. So she moved there and helped me out with that and I got drafted, so we both moved here. Right off the bat, I was like, I just wanna get involved in the community. I don't wanna sit at home, I just wanna be out doing whatever. And so we met a, a guy, uh, Ted Van Riper, over at Riverside Family Center back then. And first time we did an event there, he was like, have you ever thought about having your own basketball camp? And I was like, oh, man, that would be like the best thing ever. So ended up doing a camp that first year, so that's 2001. And like we, so after the first year, I mean, the parents came to us like, this camp was the most amazing thing my kids have ever been to. We loved it. You know, do you guys do anything else? So the next year we added a fitness clinic. So did the fitness clinic and the basketball camp. Same thing after that. Do you guys do anything else? My kids had a, such a great time. So we added our mentoring program, which we actually teamed up with Women's Sports Foundation and did their Go Girl Go program. Mm -hmm. So this is 2003. And so we did that, did the fitness clinic and did the basketball camp, same thing. So it's like, okay, we can't keep adding all these programs without going underneath the foundation. And I've had a lot of people in my life that have helped me get to where I'm at today. So that was really like why starting the Catch the Stars Foundation was so important because it's like, you know what, we have an opportunity to make an impact on these kids. I mean, we do focus on underprivileged youth, but our programs are open to anybody that, that wants to come and be a part of it. And all over the state of Indiana? All over. Well, what if they're outside of Indiana? They come to the basketball camp or come oh. to one of our, yeah, we have, I mean, we have kids that come from Philadelphia, Denver, Excellent. Michigan. Colorado, I mean, I said Denver, so same thing, but yeah. I mean, we have people that literally fly in and just mm -hmm. come for the basketball camp. I mean, some of them, their family lives here, so they're in visiting family, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, well, we heard about the camp. Right. So my kids come, one lady, they drove all the way up from Texas to you know participate. So, I mean, we have a lot going on, but um, like I said, I just want to continue to impact, and eventually we will expand our program outside of Indiana. Right. Awesome. But this is our 10th year. We are celebrating wow. our 10th year. Yeah, so this great. is a big year for us. Great, yeah. great. Tamika, you absolutely, I know, have touched so many people with your openness and your heart and your spirit, and you're just a wonderful, wonderful young lady. And I know God is going to continue to shower favor on your life. I know that it's going to happen. And I'm always here for you. Thank you. If I ever can do anything for the foundation of you or you, just let me know. Okay. Let me I appreciate know. it. Thank yes, you. you're very welcome. I'm Kathy Holloway Hill, and I want to just say to you that no matter what has occurred in your life, no matter what obstacles, pain that you've experienced, you can have whatever you want. You can catch your star just like Tamika Catchings has done. We're going to sign off for now. And I hope you join us next week for another empowering episode of the Living by Design Show.